Call it. And uh, away they go. Free movement got out well. Argo Alley is there and home of the Brave is right up there with the early leaders. Team Gold about four or five lengths off that leader being followed by Turpitz who runs behind that. Captain of Grit is further back and then came Silver Tudor seven, eight lengths from the leader and Foster Novo dropped out to the back of the field. Race away now through the 1100 and Argo Alley's in front from home of the Brave in second. Back in third is free movement. Ampersand two or three lengths off the leader. Team Gold is just racing outside of them. Captain of Grit is back at the rail. Turpitz in the cheek pieces five or six off the leader. Silver Tudor behind those and Fosti Novos the trailer as they negotiate the turn at 700 to go. Argo Alley leads the way. Home of the Brave is still in second. In third is free movement and Ampersand is outside of them. Captain of Grits about four lengths off the leader. Team Gold Silver Tudor still got about seven or eight lengths to make up. Now it's the turn of Home of the Brave who comes through to pick it up with about 300 metres left to go. Argo Alley, Captain of Grit is going through up the centre of the track. Home of the Brave, Captain of the Grit down the inside has come through now to pick it up. Captain of Grit with 150 metres to go. Free movement is still right there. Free movement comes at Captain Agrit. Captain Agrit free movement and Turpitz took off as well in the closing stages as they got to the line and it's Turpitz who got there. Free movement, Captain Agrit behind that and Argo Alley. Future. Let's have a look at the head on and you'll see where Turpitz is at the moment and the cheek piece is just tucked away behind them in the centre but now it's got to find the room. The whip comes out and ends up switching to the middle inside to go and make a race of it. Free movement moved up to Captain of Grit who was right there in the closing stages but it is Turpitz who delivers the goods and goes on to win it. Been exciting finishes today. Only a head separating this lot and well done to Brett Crawford. The Hollywood Bet Syndicate, uh, Mr Anthony Dalpesh is the nominee and it's Cabello Matsignani. It's another winning uh, bread horse by uh, Regiment Highlands. Well done to them as Turpit gets its head down to win the sixth race. Well, it was a quality field and the finish lived up to the billing. It was a blanket finish and I'll ask my man what he thought. Maybe a half a length at the most separated the first to three past the wire. The lead changed hands three times in about 30 metres in the last 30 metres. But uh, no, no, that uh, inside move proved to be the winning move. Well, um, you know, if you look watching the race early on, you think to yourself, um, what, was, what, what was I thinking to do that move? But coming up into the straight, I know he has a habit of hanging in. But when I came up to the straight, he never looked to, to like in. So I thought I'll give him a benefit of a doubt and ride him straight and just ride him where he's comfortable. But as soon as I put him under a little bit of pressure, he looked to lag in and obviously I had a line of horses in front of me. And he took a bit of time to get going. As I said, the long, longer straight came in handy today. And um, when I did the, the inside move, I knew that now I'm getting momentum. And the last the, the two horses that are in front of me, they're almost staying on. And um, with the momentum that I had, I could still get up. But I mean, if I had to get beat making that move, someone would have said maybe I could have stayed straight. But in a race, you have to take split uh, decision, uh, decisions. So, I mean, I'm glad it was a winning one. This is why they say that's why we pay you the big bucks. You and the horse get on well. You've ridden it now 12 times for three wins at three seconds, at third and uh, three fourths. So you know the horse well. Yes, um, Tuppet's never disappoints. It's the type of horse that um, he's always honest and consistent in his running. He's always in the money. Um, he has disappointed a little bit, but obviously he's got his issues and we just have to keep him happy, keep him sound. And, you know, when he runs fresh, he loves it. And I think also with a bit of a sting out the ground today, definitely came in handy for me. And um, I'm just glad he's back in the winning box. Good weekend continues. And of course, well done to the ownership and your sponsors. I think uh, one of the same there. Yes, um, big thanks to the Hollywood Syndicate and uh, to my sponsors in the front, big thanks to them, to the Crawford team, to James. Big thanks to him and all well that. Thank you so, so much. Right, my man, please come through and uh, say a few words for us. Uh, always uh, striking outfits that uh, the Crawford stable turn up in. First of all, let's just uh, uh, present the uh, winning groom uh, check so that uh, Lady Penny can go get out of the sun. This is uh, for Potosa, who looks after uh, Turpitz, who's just come through to make it a win number four, fr three rather, from our 14 outings. Now, we got to talk to you. Stable has had a great, great uh, year and uh, the good times continue. Uh, Turpitz, what sort of a horse is it at home? Yeah, Turpitz is a, a nice horse. Huh? It's just that he's been struggling to get a, a good draw. So today, 
just found a, a good draw. So I know I saw that if he go through inside, he's going to win a race. Unfortunately, he went through, then he came to win a race. So, yeah. Great finish, but did you think you were going to get up? Because it didn't seem like uh, there was enough room to uh, come through and win. And I was so worried at the time he was going inside there. See, so, but after that, they saw that they threw a cup. Then after that, they just go through and they win a the race. So, yeah. Good Such a, yeah. yeah. Now, James, is he still away? I saw Barry back in Cape Town yesterday. So, you're looking after the fourth side? Yes, I'm there and I'm looking after the stable. So, I would like to say to congratulation to the winning owner and to Tepesh and his Hollywood syndicate. Hollywood syndicate. So, yeah. yeah, I say thank you. And to my, to the Crawford Racing team, it's a good. What I can say, I can say that okay. it's a congratulation to the our yard, you know, yeah. crop for listing. You've done well. Thank you yeah. so much. And the more the more you do this, the easier it gets. Yeah. Thank you so so much, my man. Thank you. Thank you so much. And well done to the Crawford stable. It is a uh, well done, James. Well done, Brett. Of course, uh, Barry and uh, the entire team out there at uh, the uh, Crawford Racing. And of course, Hollywood Syndicate nominee Anthony Dopech. I think they must be approaching that 500th winner as far as uh, their uh, ownership is concerned. And as you heard from Clyde, Richmond Islands, they're having a good afternoon. Another one bred by them. Big one. The off time to race seven is uh, 15. 45, the penultimate and the last chance to get involved in a daily double.